ओम शांति फोर्टींथ अक्टूबर 2022 इंग्लिश मोरली एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू गिव दिस स्टडी अ लॉट ऑफ वैल्यू इफ यू आर इल और इवन अबाउट टू डाई यू मस्ट स्टिल सिट इन क्लास इट इज सेट दैट यू शुड लीव योर बॉडी विथ द नेक्टर ऑफ नॉलेज ऑन योर लिप्स क्वेश्चन वन एंड हाउ डू चिल्ड्रन बिकम इंस्ट्रूमेंटल in turning others away from the father answer when those who sulk with brothers and sisters stop studying and become those who defame the guru many others who see them also turn away from the father today they may be studying well but tomorrow they stop studying and they therefore cannot tell others to study such children deprive themselves of a high status today's song the flame has ignited in the happy gathering of moths om shanti you children have understood the meaning of the song those who composed the song don't know its meaning they have written so many vedas scriptures upanishads etc but not a single person knows the accurate meaning of them because of not knowing the accurate meaning of them they continue to waste time and money the father explains you have built many temples and written many vedas upanishads etc you have had sacrificial fires and done a lot of chanting and tapasya you spent so much money who is the father explaining all of this to to those who have died alive and now belong to the father you now belong to the father which means that you have died alive so you now have to make preparations to go back with the father it isn't that people will celebrate your birthday or anniversary there here people celebrate the anniversary of gandhi ji with so much splendor it isn't that shri baba will go away having given you knowledge and that you will then celebrate his birthday in the golden age no for half a cycle you won't celebrate anniversaries or hold any ceremonies for those who leave their bodies cows won't be donated departed spirits will not be fed donations are made so that a return is received in the next birth however in the golden age you experience the reward of this time therefore there is a difference between the customs and systems of devotion and the customs and systems of knowledge those who have broad intellects will be able to understand these things those who had broad intellects in the previous cycle will have broad intellects now because they have to play those same parts again you heard in the song how you went around in all directions and how you still remained distant the father says you beat your heads so much on the path of devotion and yet you were unable to meet me because you can only meet me when i come i only come at the confluence age of every cycle people say that god comes in every age they then say that god has 24 incarnations therefore that is wrong people call out to me o oh, purifier come come and make us impure ones pure so your war is now with maya ravan you don't have a physical war you conquer ravan who is the main warrior in that lust so you have to conquer that vice that is you have to become pure when you become pure yourselves you also have to make your children pure so that they too can become the masters of the world if you give them an inheritance now what would you give them you would only give them things of clay okay look at america what is that now it is nothing but pebbles and stones because everything is now to be destroyed look how people die when there are snow storms on the mountains all the birds etc die similarly storms of bombs will be the same people everywhere will continue to die like swarms of mosquitoes 
you know that you will see how everyone dies look how many people die in a war that is over everyone's head here in the golden age there is no fear of death because there is no untimely death there the father is taking you to such a world therefore you should follow the shrimat of such a father he is the supreme teacher and so you children have to pay full attention to this study there are many who don't value this study at all for instance if someone is very ill and about to die he too should be brought to class it is said that when someone dies he should have the nectar of knowledge on his lips that he should be on the banks of the river ganges etc and then he should leave his body so there should be that much regard for this study if in desperate circumstances you cannot take someone to class you should make that person remember shiva baba at home however some children don't pay full attention to this study baba says bring your register so that i can know how much each one is studying and to what extent baba asks if each of you studies and whether you also teach others because it is only in this business that an income is earned all other businesses are like dust those brahmin priests have the scriptures under their arms whereas you have the truth you are establishing the land of truth you have a huge responsibility and this is why you have to remain cautious it requires effort to study and teach others it isn't that you just have to study you are those on the family path you may do your housework for 8 hours the government has a law that you have to work for 8 hours in earlier days when the steamers used to arrive at night shopkeepers would keep their shops open all night you have to free yourself from your housework and engage yourself in doing this service the government itself teaches you how to do service the government feeds people so people also have to serve it here too the father teaches you and so you have to do godly service it isn't only service if it were only service that would be a matter of the intellect to make the self pure however we have to make bharat into heaven so you have a huge responsibility just as other armies have responsibility the commander in chief the captains etc have the most responsibility it is the same here the good children who open centers are the commanders and so they have a responsibility so each of you has to look at yourself and see whether instead of doing service you are doing this service there are many children who sulk with brothers and sisters and then stop studying they don't understand that if they stop studying they will be those who defame the guru and won't be able to attain a high status that is they won't be able to claim a high status in the golden age the father asks for the register of the children because he understands everything from that just as in a school the father and teacher understand everything from the register as to how much a child is studying some children continue to play all day long and then when school finishes they go back home and say that they have just been to school to study the parents of some children don't even look at the register of their children and so they aren't aware of anything some parents pay attention to see that their children study well here shibaba is antayami in brackets the one who knows everything inside you the register has to be shown to the corporeal one children say baba such storms come baba says these storms will come all of these storms first come to me otherwise how could i explain them to you children if i haven't experienced them
Okay, Maya distressed you the whole night and you weren't even able to sleep. That was time wasted. That is also her duty. She will definitely create conflict. However, it is your duty to remember Baba just as much and chase Maya away. Some children are such that they leave when even a little Maya comes to them. Herbalists say that when you take a particular medicine, there will be a reaction to the illness. However, some people are such that when the illness reacts even slightly to the medicine of a particular herbalist, they leave him and go to another. It is the same here. They leave knowledge and go to the sages and holy men. Then they say, everyone else says that you have to live at home with the family and get married, whereas you tell us to get married but remain pure. What kind of difficulty is this? Oh, but you are saying that you want to live at home and claim liberation and liberation in life like King Chanak did. Therefore, you have to remain pure at home. Some say that this is right, but that the destination is too high. They say this and get scared. You have to go high. It is also shown in the Delwala temple how you are doing tapasya down below and how there is the reward of heaven above you. Therefore, the destination is high anyway. It is said when you climb, you taste the sweetness of love. That is the sweetness of heaven. If you fall, you are completely crushed. This is why you have to move along with great caution. You mustn't be scared. They say that this is the authority of the Gita. There are many Gitas nowadays. There is the Tagore Gita, the Gandhi Gita, etc. When someone sulks with members of his household, he goes extract and a meaning from the Gita and puts his name beside it. In one Gita, it is written, This will happen if you eat aubergines. This will happen if you eat ladies' fingers, in brackets, or cravage table. Baba also used to study the Gita every day. Wherever he went, even if he went to a king, he definitely used to study the Gita before going. Some people think that devotees do not cheat. However, no one cheats as much as devotees do. Therefore, Baba says, Children, don't stop studying. Otherwise, Maya the alligator will eat you and you will then have to repent. In the land of Dharamraj, when you have visions of each and every birth and experience punishment, don't even ask what it's like. No human being knows about liberation or liberation in life because they believe that happiness is like the droppings of a crow. So they believe that the happiness of heaven will also be like that because they have heard that Rama's Sita was abducted in the Silver Age and so that too is sorrow. You now understand that such things don't take place in heaven. This is a story of just Bharat. All other religions are just by plots in this drama. It is the people of Bharat who take 84 births. Those of other religions do not take 84 births. It is said souls remain separated from the Supreme Soul for a long period of time. No one knows the meaning of that. They continue to sing that but they don't understand anything. This Brahma was also a beggar. He also adopted many gurus but all of that was cheating. This is why the father says, renounce all religions. However, people don't understand the meaning of that. Although people read the Gita, they are like wild parrots. You are those who study everything and become threaded in the rosary of victory. What do the people of the world know of these things? If you give them literature, they just throw it away. What do those people know about these drills of knowledge? 
you children who belonged to the deity religion in the previous cycle have now become brahmins those who become deities now will become deities every cycle number wise according to the efforts they make now others cannot become deities the sapling is being planted that government plants saplings of thorns here the pandava government is planting the sapling of the deity religion there is so much difference this old world will be destroyed when the sapling of the deity religion has been planted you can see the signs of destruction of how the war between the yavanas and the kauravas is to take place according to the drama nothing new it is not anything new why else would it be said that rivers of blood will flow the hindus will not fight among themselves this is the war of the yavanas and the kauravas and we are also at war we are at war there too the commander continues to make sure that the war is going well and to see whether there are any traitors there is severe punishment for traitors it is the same here if someone belongs to the father and then becomes a traitor he receives severe punishment in the land of dharmraj some children have also had visions then someone sacrifices himself at kashi he experiences punishment for the sins of many births then his next birth he begins to perform actions anew no one can go into liberation yet they say that so and so went beyond to the land of nirvana however no one can go there yet they call out to the father purifier come the bestower of salvation for all is only the one this is something to be understood when the father comes he grants salvation and liberation to many god has now issued an ordinance for you to become pure people ask how would the world then continue oh but you say that there isn't enough to eat and that there should be fewer people and you then ask how the world would continue you children have to explain very well acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father babdada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bab dada essence for dharana first point while looking after your household you still definitely have to make time to do spiritual service consider yourself to be responsible for increasing service don't do any disservice number 2 the one who is teaching you is the supreme teacher himself therefore you definitely have to value this study a great deal under no circumstances should you miss this study blessing may you become free from obstacles and set your mind and intellect on the seat of an experience by practicing concentration and stability explanation the power of concentration easily frees you from obstacles for this set your mind and intellect on the seat of an experience the power of concentration automatically enables you to experience belonging to the one father and none other by doing this your state will easily become constant and stable you will then have an attitude of benevolence towards everyone with the practice of concentration you will have a vision of brotherhood such a soul can never have weak sun scars or get upset with any soul matter or royal form of maya slogan the practice of merging and expansion into its essence in a second will enable you to receive the final certificate om shanti